Last three on this page. More solving. <laughs> so, it says solving equations with zero, one, or infinite many solutions. These are the ones where you don't always get W equals a number. Sometimes you get zero W equals something. If we get zero W equals zero, zero times every number in the world is always zero, right? Yep. Zero times one is zero, zero times five is zero. That's when we pick the all real numbers are solutions. Because I could put any number in and have that be a true statement. If I get zero W equals any number in the world other than zero, say it's a five, then I can't do that. I can't take zero times anything and get five, right? Zero times five is zero. Mm -hmm. So those are our two weird cases. If we get a zero W, it's either going to give us all real numbers or solutions or no solutions. Otherwise, it'll solve like it normally solves. So I'm going to do this one down here, and I'm going to... <laughs> First of all, get rid of my parentheses, right? So 5w plus 5 minus that w on the end is going to equal 3w minus 3 plus the 7 on the end, right? So combining my like terms, 5w minus w is 4w plus 5. On the other side, combining my like terms, I'm going to have a 3w plus 4, right? I'm going to just keep going and solving it. So if I'm going to solve that, I get a minus my 3w and minus my 5. So 4w minus 3w is just 1w, or w. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. I got that one solved. I got a nice number answered. So on this one, I'm going to click the middle circle. I'm going to type minus 1 in the box because that one came out to a nice answer. Now I've got to do the second one. So on the second one, you do the second one. <laughs> what are we going to get? Okay, so we got 3w minus 6. Minus 5w equals negative 2w. <laughs> negative 4. Yep. What should I do next? Okay, you've got to combine the right terms. I think you better go with the 3 and the w5, negative 5 first. Okay, right? yep. So you get negative 2w. Oh, yep. That's right. Okay. So it's going to be negative 6 minus 2? Okay. So you're going to have negative 2w yeah. minus 6. Minus 6. And that's all we have on that side. Equals negative 2w minus 4, right? Yeah. Okay, so if we're going to solve that. 2w comes over to positive 2w. Mm -hmm. 6 becomes a positive 6. And so when we subtract, we get? 0. 0 w's equals? Equal mm, 2. 2. 0 times what number is 2? 0. Now if you take 0 times 0, do you get 2? Oh, no. <laughs> no. That's one of our special cases, right? Okay. You can't take 0 times anything to get a 2. And so my answer is going to be no solution. no solution. I can't do that one. Okay. Okay? So, number 14, same thing. Got to get rid of our parentheses. So if we do the top one. Negative 3w minus 3 plus 7w equals 4w 
plus 4 minus 7. Negative 3w minus 3 plus 7w equals 4w plus 4 minus 7. Looks good. Next thing I want to do. Okay, I want to do my 3w and my 7, which is going to be my uh, 4w. 4w minus 3 plus 7. Equals 4w minus 3. I'm going to bring my, my minus 3 to 3. Positive, oh, negative 4w goes over to the right. Okay. So that's going to be negative 16w. Whoops. Oh. Negative 4 times 4. Are you timesing? Yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> or not? No. Right? We're adding I'm and subtracting when we move those over. Okay. So it's going to be zero. It's going to be zero W equals? Equals zero. Zero. And what did we say our answer was going to be if zero W equals zero? All real numbers. All real numbers, because I can take 0 times 1, 0 times 2, 0 times 586, and I'm still going to get 0, right? 0 times every number in the world is still 0. All right. Next one there. This can be negative 3w. Is that going to be a positive negative 3 Oh, okay, negative 12 yep. equals, whoops, <laughs> negative 12, oh, minus 2w. Yep, can't forget that guy. <laughs> equals 2w plus 2. So then we do the 3w and the minus 2w, negative 3w plus minus 2w is going to be Minus 5w. Mm -hmm. Minus 12 equals 2w plus 2. So you're negative 5w. Oh, no. You're negative, you're plus 2 will come over to your negative 2w. It would be 7w. Minus 12 will be a positive 12. Now, I just want to check something here. Oh, okay. When you did negative 5 minus 2, you got. Negative yes. 7, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. So that's a negative 7w equals your 14 on the other side, right? Yep. So now we're going to divide, and our answer is going to be... W is equal to... It's going to be negative 2. Negative 2. And so we check the middle one. We type the negative 2 in the box. And that's going to be your answer. All right, one last one for good measure here. <laughs> so, multiplying that out. Six y plus six minus nine equals four y. Minus 4 plus 2y. Exactly. Keep going. Okay, so then um, we add the 6 and the negative 9. 6 minus 9 and negative 3, so it'll be 6y minus 3 equals 6y minus 4. Great. Keep going. So then you bring your negative six, your negative six becomes, oh no, becomes a positive, negative six, your positive six becomes a negative six y. Yep. And your negative g becomes a positive three. And that would be one, negative would be zero y equals one. Equals negative one. Negative one. Negative four negative minus one. three is negative one. So there's and no solution. So there's no solution, exactly. You can come on with me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do the bottom one. You're doing good on these. Yeah, as long as I'm talking, I mean, <laughs> I have someone to talk to, I can do it. Okay, 
get 4y plus 4 plus y equals 8y minus 8 plus 6. So the 4y, is that a 1? So that'd be 5y? Exactly. 5y plus 4 equals 8y minus 2. Okay. And the 8y becomes a negative 8y. Your 4 becomes plus positive 4 becomes a negative 4. That should be a negative 6 and a minus 3y. Okay. Divide that by um, negative 6 divided by negative 6. Negative 6 divided by what? Negative 3. Negative 3. It's two. Y is going to equal two. Y is going to equal two. All right. So I put two in the Y. It put the middle one. Click that box and then put the two in there. So it says Y equals two. Yep.